the traders from across the globe and welcome to the 1,279th edition of Short-Term Trading Live with Oscar. And that, of course, would be me. Good evening, traders. Oscar Carboni coming to you almost live. I'm going to I filmed it just a little while ago. From my studios in Las Vegas, this video is being filmed on Thursday Night for Trading, Friday, February 6th. 2015. Traders, remember that futures trading can be and is extremely risky, can cause substantial financial damage to you and your family and your friends and the blue blood money you came over to this country with 250 years ago. It's bad. The volatility out there is bad. If you don't know what you're doing, you should basically get up and run. If you're not using stops, Turn this YouTube video off now, because these moves lately, if you don't have stops in, eh, you'll lose your account in one day. The average guy gets a few weeks out of them, right? You'll lose it in one day. Be careful. Traders, ah, green omni on the board for the Emin, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, Dow Jones, Tranny, you know, the usual. Very nice. We love to clap for those green omnis. We've got green omnis in stocks as well. We trade individual stocks, at least Omni calls those individual stocks for you at LiveWithOscar.com. So if you are trading stocks and or equities or commodities, because we do all of that, come on down to LiveWithOscar.com and allow me to teach you how to read the charts. We offer trade recommendations in both stocks and commodities at our site. Come on down. If, by the way, you join the commodity recommendations, we offer the stock recommendations for free. We throw them in for you. So take a look at them and see what you think. Next on the list, traders, we've got stock market continues to bounce off of OTAPMA. Now, as we know, this is my opinion, right? But my opinion comes directly from the charts. You've all seen many, many videos for the last seven, eight years now. And we're not always wrong. I can say that much about us. You know what I mean? Take from that what you will. But we're not always wrong because if we were, I wouldn't have all you fans right now. Speaking of fans, let me dedicate tonight's video to my French Omniacs out there because several of you have written to me lately and talked about possibly being shout out to. So a shout out to my French Omniacs. Thank you so, so much for joining in. Come on down to LiveAlaska.com and come into my live chat room. Very well, very well, very nice. All right, so stock market continues to bounce off of OTAPMA. OTAPMA is the Omni Trading, is Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average. This whole thing is based on something called the Omni, right? Oscar's market navigational indicator from there it points in our direction and then we start getting levels to get in and out. Well, with the Omni comes one of its averages. It's got many that they call the Omni key averages, but I like to name this one OTAPMA. That's my pet name for it. I'll show you the charts on that. We've been using OTAPMA to try to get in and out of this market for the last few days because of the volatility and the up and down movement we've had. And in all honesty, the only consistency I have had using the Omni signals this week, taking you Omni, Omni X through my trades, has been in gold. We've done great in gold, and then we just all over it with the indices trades lately. So my apologies there. Indices, it's like we win, we lose, we win, we lose, we win, we lose, and the gold, we've been banging away, banging away. It'll straighten out, kids. You know how this works. You've seen Omni go from too many days on end for me to even brag about. In the past, for many, many years, it goes X amount of days and X amount of days and X amount of days, and we're all baffled by that. And sometimes it's going to be some rough and tumble. That's the name of the game, kids. That's what stops are for. But when the good comes, it's real good. So you hold on for the good stuff. In any event, we are still getting the bounce off the Omni. We've been getting the right signals. Uh -huh. I have been fumbling the ball. <laughs> what can I say? Um, um, so the OTAPMA is making the markets move higher, at least shows us the technical picture and the markets are moving higher. Then we've got gold still acting repetitive. Remember the gold chart I've been showing you in video after video after video? Go look in any of the past five. I've shown you a chart and I said, look, this thing is a repetitive pattern. And here's how you use a repetitive pattern. And guess what? That's been our most consistent winner for Omni since the repetitive pattern started. Bravo for that portion of technical analysis. Question. 
Is the dollar index divergence from equities starting to unfold before our eyes? Now, this is something that I have mentioned a few, five, six, seven videos back, and I said, look, I think I'm starting to see or sense some weird separation, a possible divergence, because what we've had for a long time now is the stock market doing this and the dollar index doing this too, but in more of a spike, and that's been happening for quite some time. So now what I'm starting to see is a little bit of stock market doing this again and the dollar doing this opposite. So you've got stocks going in this direction and dollar going in that direction. And that's not usual, traders. That's not usual. And I'm going to show you that on the charts. Does that mean absolute divergence has started? No, it does not. It doesn't mean they're decoupling, but there is a little bit of breakaway happening at least this week. And if you ask me, that's what's making the charts look so confusing. You analysts who are looking at charts every day, who are really professional at this, you must have recognized that by last night when you did your analysis, the charts were all over the place. Some pointing up, some pointing down. I'm talking in the grains, in the metals, in the indices, in the currencies. They were all over the place. The only place I found charts that looked really smooth were in the softs, in the coffee, sugar, and cocoa, and really just in sugar. So I went and thought, what are all of these why are all the charts looking so bizarre? Generally, I can get a decent chart read. You know, I sit down for a few hours, I get a decent chart read. When I did it last night, I was pulling my hair out for a long time. Every time I turned to another market, I went, not again. Another confused looking chart? So then I went and did, I dug a little deeper and did more analysis today, last night, this morning. And what I came up with was, I think it's because the dollar is diverging a little from the equities and the markets aren't used to the dollar going down. They're used to the juice of the dollar going up. And as soon as the dollar goes down a little, every commodity, everything starts to flutter and then go up, I would imagine, what would be the final result. So, not calling a top in dollars because it could be a big bull flag in the dollar right now. But, I'm going to show you that just recently, the last few days at least, we've had some divergence between equities and the dollar, and I think that's what's creating confusion in your charts. That should straighten out very quickly, even if they diverge. Traders, I want to show you some great charts. What I do is I teach Omniacs how to learn, how to read these charts exactly the way I read them. I teach them how to come up with their own Omnis, and that I do at Omnicamp. That's a four-day session I hold live here in Las Vegas. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and these are long days. We work very hard together. Now, traders, it's very intimate. There's only five of you that I invite out here, and I hand-choose you from a, a, a basket full, usually a basket full of applications that you'll fill out at the website. Through there, I thumb through them. The ones I like, I call back, and I only choose five of you. It's a very intimate setting. I want to make sure that everyone that comes to see me leaves with the education they came out to Vegas for. So with that in mind, I only take five of you at a time. I spend four full days, and those are very full days. And that's the next one we're holding is going to be June. Omni Camp planned this summer before it gets too hot in Vegas. No more after June. Omni Camp, the last one for now, unless it gets cold towards the end of the year. The last Omni Camp will be the summer. It's June 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. That's a Friday through Monday. Now, if you would like to join me out here in Las Vegas, just come to LiveWithOscar.com. Click the Omnicamp banner, fill out your application, and I'll call you personally. Traders, now the charts. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. I was um, just um, surfing financial sites and um, you know it's just like the internet you click on one link it takes you to another site to another site and it took me some uh, YouTube videos and I came across Oscar started following him there then I got led to his uh, website and following that I went to his chat room and uh, I was very impressed with his calls and I had to know how he does it well, I've come uh, all the way from England for this course, and uh, it's been very worthwhile. I, I would hop on a plane tomorrow, I'd come halfway around the world for this course, because it is, 
it's exactly what I needed it, and I know that I will go away and become a very successful trader now. I want to thank him, yeah, he is a great man, he, is, he, he has big heart, he is, to do all this, to teach all these techniques, all these tips, it's almost incredible. We all four uh, were asking ourselves how it's possible to give to the public all these techniques and all these tips, all this knowledge. It's almost incredible. The money is definitely not an issue. You get several fold uh, what you put in. There is, I don't understand how anybody can take Oscar's trades and not come to Omnicamp. It makes very little sense. You have to understand how these trades come about. You have to understand why the trades are taken. You have to understand why even the trade is thought of, how it came up, how it came about. And without Omnicamp, I don't really understand the usefulness of following Oscar's trades. He teaches you everything you need or everything you ask. There should be no questions. The only question should be when is the next on the camp and when can you attend? Okay, traders, the first chart this evening is the Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar Chart. And that's got Oak Tapma, the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average that I mentioned earlier, and there it is. And as you can see, usually when you hit Oak Tapma, you only hit it for a couple of days and then you take off. And then here we hit it, but we only went up for day one, day two, and it came back down. And when you hit it again, you only went up for day one, day two, and then it came back down. And I went, well, traders, in my last video I said to you, we are not out of the woods because we're only able to go up for two days at a time lately after hitting Otatma. But here we are. We had a major up day here. Then we hit one, two, three, and it looks like Friday will be a fourth one. That, my friends, is different from this. This was not nice looking. That was not nice looking. This is starting to become much better looking. So I'm liking the fact that we're bouncing four days now off of Otama, including tomorrow if we do bounce on Friday. And we should get above this mess up here and that should take us higher. Let's look at this chart. The NASDAQ outside day on a daily bar. Now what is an outside day trade? As I'll show you right now, it's very simple. Here's Wednesday's bar. Here is Thursday's bar. Thursday's bar was higher than Wednesday's bar. Thursday's bar was lower than Wednesday's bar. And it closed above the high of Wednesday. This is called an outside day. And that's what we have. And that generally points to the direction of the outside day. If the outside day is up, it generally gives you another up day the next day. If the outside day was down, it generally tells you the next day it should go lower. Nothing works 100% of the time, but it's a decent rule. This is an outside day up telling us Friday should go higher. So you've got that, and you've got lots of bounces off OTAP, and it does not usually break it no matter how scary it gets when it threatens. So back up we go, and you got to like that. Then you've got your E-mini S&P and what looks to be one, two, three, a triple top. Now, an Oscarism, which is different than any book that you're going to read and just about anything else I've ever read in my past, is that triple tops are not supposed to be sold. Forget about that. They are wrong. I can, I can show you on dozens of examples that triple tops generally get purchased. What should happen many times in a triple top is it'll come off a little bit and then blast through. But this may blast through tomorrow on Friday because everything else looks set to go, may pull the S&P with it. So there is a triple top looking thing right here. Triple tops generally get taken out. Let's see if that's the case. I don't even think you'll get the pullback off of this. Why? Because we just had a series of days where it pulled back just a few days ago. Now, on the way back up, if you ask me, that's a flag pole. This is some sort of a weird flag right there. And that should equate to higher and blow out through the triple top. That's my technical opinion, especially because we've bounced so high off Otatma. Then we go to this. The gold chart I have been showing you in all of my videos, at least the last five. Repetitive patterns and traders, I kid you not, when the market got up to about here, you had every gold bug on the planet freaking out when I called well, at least the ones who contacted me, when I said that should be it, and look at how simply logical it is. 
right? When you got to this line, it created something and it came off. When you got just about to the line, it created something that gave it a downdraft. When you got just about to the line, it gave it a downdraft. When you got just about to the line, it gave it a downdraft. When you got just about to the line, you actually hit the line, what should happen? It should give it a downdraft. This is a weekly. We've been going down for two weeks since I showed this to you. Two weeks already of backing off slowly since I showed this to you. That is good analysis, even if it turns around and goes higher. Now, is this a bull flag? Well, I don't know. We're going to find out soon because it sure looks like it could be one. But. The larger formation is this, this repetitive pattern. Even if it's a bull flag, the repetitive pattern would trump the bull flag because it's happening so often and it's so much bigger. So we would trump this anyway until this proves itself out. We ignore it and we look for the repetitive pattern. Way to read a chart, kids. Very, very, very nice analysis in gold later. Let's move forward. Doesn't mean we're not blasting off tomorrow, but for now it's been working. Traders, the dollar index, and here's where it starts to get interesting. <clears throat> is this the start of a fall from grace? What does that mean? Well, look at this wonderful pattern we've been in for a long time. You cannot break this line. You cannot break the line. You cannot break the line while well, the line gets created here. You can't break it. You can't break it. Got close. Didn't even touch it. Then you've got this. Suddenly, day one comes through the line. It tries to get back up, settles under the line here, and now you've got a third day underneath this pattern. So at first you go, hmm, a fall from grace, but then when you look at it further, you go, well, wait a minute, that's a really well-defined flag, and it is. So is that a bull flag, or is it a fall from grace? I can't actually answer that first right now, traders. I can say this, you've got three days below this line right here, three days now, and that is more than you've ever seen before. So it's speaking to us. On top of that, you've got something else interesting going on. Here's where I think the divergence is going to take place. What you're seeing right now, lately, which is rare, we've had for the longest time dollars going up and the stock market going up. What you've got now is the dollar in a pattern going down. Now, granted, this could be a very big bull flag, and I'm not going to count it out. Like I showed you in the last chart, this could be a very big bull flag. But... The idea behind this is to show you divergence is taking place and it's making markets jittery and making charts a little hard to read, and here it is. You've got the dollar index moving down, where generally it moves up with the, do with the stock market or down with the stock market. They've been coupled at the hip for quite some time. And divergence, you know, has to take place at some point, right? The dollar getting away from the stocks. Well, here you've got the dollar, and I'm going to pull the stock chart in right now. Look at this. There's the dollar. Now here's the stock market. Look at how you've got an arrow pointing up, a direction going up in the stock market, and one going down in the dollar for the last few days, and that segment is starting to look a little bit like divergence. And if that's divergence, you're going to get very jittery markets for a little while, and then they'll all just move on and go about their merry way. But during the divergence, things get jittery. If this is divergence, we are going to find out very shortly. But there's the picture right before your eyes, traders. That's what's giving you the difficult chart reads, if you're getting them, for the last five or six days. Traders, pull your own charts. Do your own analysis. Never, ever accept anyone's opinion about a market without examining your own homework first. So, traders, you've seen the charts, you've just seen that Omnicamp commercial, and I'm hoping that what I'm showing you on this board, the way I read charts, intrigues you and would make you want to come out and learn this from me because, let's face it, no one gets it right every time, but I'm these pretty darn consistent, as I've shown you in these videos, and I would like to teach people how to fish for themselves because if you rely upon me, sooner or later, Oscar's going on vacation and he's not coming back. I mean, I work hard. I'm not going to be doing this forever. So I try to take a handful of you at a time, five at a time, once every couple of months, every four or five months, and I try to teach five of you to feed your families. And if I can do that, I'm doing my job. That is what happens at Omnicamp. If you want to come out, there's five open seats because I haven't really spoken to anyone about it yet. I'm just accepting applications now. LiveWithOscar.com. Click the banner and we'll get in touch. Traders, so there you've got my technical argument for why we've got the green Omnis. Now you've seen the Grease News come out. And you know, yesterday, Wednesday, just trashed the really strong bull market all day long. Grease News came out and we got Greek and the market went down. 
What are these guys going to do? You know, they're going to leave your buddies behind sometimes. Guys, what do you got a great us for? Come on! Anyway, yesterday, boom, slam, the market gets hit at the end of the day, resets most traders, sets their systems now for the sell side, which is normal because you had a market booming all day long to the upside, and it turns around and puts in new lows at the end of the day. Most systems look for the downside. Then the next day, the market opens up and flips right back up. I mean, this has been very difficult trading lately. We've had Omni flip-flopping like crazy, so that's why I want to warn you again. Put your stops in. A stop is your best friend in this industry. They say sometimes stops don't work. A stop doesn't always work. And I, here's what I got to say. Put your stop in because most of the time it does. 99.9% .9 of the time I've ever seen people use stops. They seem to work, especially today in the electronic markets, like the S&P, there's so much volume, stops usually will work. Put your stop in because what happens is when you are standing there watching the screen, white knuckled as it's $3,000 per contract against you and you only meant to lose $500 and you don't do anything because you don't have a stop in, it'll just continue to drop while you crap in your pants or call your wife or don't call your wife or find any reason to say I had an, oh, I had an order in and the cat canceled that when she ran across my keyboard. People say all kinds of crazy things when they don't have stops in. A stop can be like an insurance policy. Put your insurance policy on. You wouldn't buy a new car without an insurance policy, would you? Put your insurance policy. You're going to spend a fortune when you pick up an S&P contract, right? More than the average new car. Leave the showroom with some insurance. Put your stop in. Insurance policies don't always work either, but most times they pay you, right? Same thing with the stop. Please, with this insane volatility, put your stops and you need to live to trade another day. I know I'm harping on this, but I'm watching some serious smacking around of people lately by these markets, and I don't want that to be you. Put your stops in, okay? I said it one last time. Traders, that's it. I'm going to leave you alone. Frenchies, thank you so much from Fred. Love the fact that you guys tune in. Listen, I stay up all night long in the chat room for you European traders. So come join me all night long at LiveAlaska.com. We play music. I look at charts. We sit there all night. Traders, I'll see you at my site. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Woohoo! So a throat here. Stop are in. Emotions are. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. 